Hello everyone and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix on the PlayStation 4. In the last episode, oh we're playing on Critical Mode by the way, whatever. Uh, we completed everything that we can do right now at Halloween Town and Christmas Town. And now we are going to go and head towards one of my top favorite worlds in this game. So we get two back to back of my favorite worlds and that's super exciting. So let's go ahead and join Sunlight Storm and proceed to our next world on our list. Let's go ahead and use our high wind as as uh, as best as we can. And special orbs defeat the rare. Yeah, uh, we know that. We know that game. All right, so right off the bat, we have to go through this gummy ship mission and kill as many of these as we can, just like usual. Although I really like the music in this one. It's like oddly relaxing, which is kind of weird for a gummy ship mission, but like, I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, so just stay on top, just like you always do in all of these. You pretty much just mash that X button uh, and you will be able to just destroy things, man. Just be able to just, just annihilate whatever you're trying to fight, which, hey, nothing wrong with that, right? So I haven't seen any yellow or red enemies yet. On, oh, there's a red. There's a red. Oh, I don't think we got him. Oh, we got him. We got him. We got him. Okay, good, good, good. That was a little scary. Uh, I didn't think that we got him, but we did. Uh, we did. Uh, that's good. So we'll be able to pretty much take down this area as quickly as we can. And I do apologize for the delay in videos, guys, by the way. Uh, I'm having a lot of trouble with recording. I need a new uh, capture card, and it is on the horizon. It is coming. It is coming, I say. All right, so now we kind of have to deal with one of these guys. You might remember one of these. We fought them earlier, I believe, on the way to Agrabah, which is kind of funny because it, I said there that it reminded me of the Kurt Zisa boss, and it still does. It still reminds me of Kurt Zisa from the uh, original game, so we'll just see if we can... There we go. We were able to kill that. Let's see if we can kill his final, his final little arm there. Dude, 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 dude. There we go. We killed it. We killed it, and now he will die. Oh, no! Oh, that's a lot of damage. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Oh, we avoided all of them because we're amazing! So I love this place. It, it, it's kind of weird, uh, this like area. Um, it doesn't feel like anything, if that makes sense. Um, there we go, we got a red. Uh, looks like we might get this red as well. Hopefully, hopefully. Oh, I didn't think we got, I don't think we got that second red there, uh, which is too bad. So we missed out on a treasure, but we did get the neon bar and the Blazaga G, which is pretty useful. Uh, again, we're going to be worrying about customizing our gummy ship later. Uh, right now, there's literally no reason to. Um, and once we actually go for the trophies and the awards, uh, rewards that we can get from actually doing this, that's when we will. So this is a new, uh, type of Heartless. Uh, he's like a drill dude, uh, who will come in and he will try to kill you and you just need to get out of it as much as you can. Uh, which is actually, uh, easier said than done, to be honest with you. But right there, we were able to take him down. Let's see if we can take down this red guy real quick. Hopefully get a, uh, go, uh, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Did we not kill him? Oh, we did not kill him before the timer. That sucks. Oh, no! Oh, luckily, someone destroyed him. Uh, I don't know who, but somebody destroyed him. And you know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. So you just want to lay into these as much as possible. Watch out for these rings. See if you can stay in it as much as you can. Uh, you'll see that we're actually pretty low on health. Lower than we should be. Here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Especially when something like that starts going off. That is not good. That is not good. I thought we were done, dude. I thought we were done. <gasps> we made it. We just made it. That was a scary gummy ship mission. And we get missions level 1 and 2, obviously unlocked. And we get the high wind level 8. And Ultima G, nice. And now we have officially unlocked the way to one of the coolest worlds. One of my favorite Disney movies of all time. We are going to the Pride Lands, a level 26 world. Let's go to the Pride Lands.
Welcome to the Pride Lands. Hey, check us out. <laughs> this place is kind of creepy, though. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, I don't know, Sora. Oh, I get the feeling they might live here. Don't mind us. Just passing through. We won't be any trouble. Yeah, that's right. Don't be silly. We'd love you to stick around for lunch. Um, we didn't bring anything to eat. <laughs> that's not gonna be a problem. <clears throat> Gorge, Sora. I think we're the lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Going somewhere? Man, that scar's got the worst timing. Just let him roll up. Eh, we better go see what he wants. Sounds like he's grumpy enough already. Ah, <sighs> fine. I don't know what that was about, but I'm glad it's over. <laughs> Everything's harder on four legs. Let us start practicing. I found a trick to it. Here, let me show you. So we find ourselves in the gorge, and look at us! We're a lion! That comes with actually its very own uh, set of abilities. You'll actually see that we now have lion. Uh, all of our other abilities that we had before, we no longer really have. We can, of course, equip our, uh, our stuff that maybe, for whatever reason, uh, isn't equipped, but everything is equipped. Uh, you can look at Sora and you can see that we do have some stuff going on. Uh, but for the most part, you're actually using different abilities than what you did it before. So right over here, we can grab a Mithril Stone, and right here, we can grab a Dark Gem, and, of course, the Savannah Map. So it looks like we're going to be running into Simba and everybody else here in the Pride Lands. We can talk to these guys. They're not going to say too much. Uh, basically, Kyrie's going to think we're cute if we're transformed. And we have to learn how to defend ourselves. Uh, which, yeah, we do. And you'll notice that we have, uh, we do have our Keyblade just sitting in our mouth like that. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. So you can save if you so choose. And we can head on over here. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Huh, what? What do we do? Stay back. Now look at us protecting Nala. Defeat all of the Heartless. These are called Living Bone, and my god, can they be incredibly challenging. So right off the bat, you want to go ahead and switch and not get caught in this, and then use your reaction command, Rodeo, and you can actually use this to kind of kill the other ones as well, because his shockwave damage that he does there uh, while you're rodeoing him will kill his friend. Down they go. That, it can be an incredibly challenging fight. Definitely Heartless. Thank you. You really saved me. We're just glad you're okay. Did you see any other Heartless around here? Heartless? Is that what they're called? I'm not sure if there are any others. I don't usually hunt outside the Pride Lands. Pride Lands? Hey, do you know if a guy named Riku is there? Or some bad guys in black hoods? Or maybe this really big bully named Pete? <sighs> oh well, we might as well go take a look anyway. Wait, the Pride Lands are dangerous. Scar and the hyenas have made things unbearable for everyone. There's no food left. They've driven off the prey. We're about to starve. We can handle a little danger. You just saw us beat those heartless, didn't you? I guess you're right. You could be just what the kingdom needs. Maybe you can help us. You mean take on this Scar guy and all those hyenas? Scar? He took over when our last king, Mufasa, died. So you're saying this guy's your king? You want us to take down your king? 
Wait just a minute. We can't just go around knocking kings off their thrones. Then again, if they see that I'm stronger than their king, maybe they'll ask me to be their next king. Sora. <laughs> I'd have to refuse, of course. Still, I'd like to see the Pride Lands, so you guys don't mind lending them a paw, do you? She's gonna go on ahead and tell the other lionesses. We're supposed to meet her at a place called Pride Rock. Have I mentioned how much I just love this world? I should tell you right off the bat that you actually cannot use any of your uh, limits or drives here. And oh no, some shadows! It's actually okay. Because of how fast you are in this world, uh, this is a, well, also spoiler, there's going to be a trick that we're going to use to basically level up our characters insanely, insanely fast uh, here in the Pride Lands. Not right now, but eventually we will be doing that. Now, we can't actually, it looks like we can't actually reach this just yet, yeah. uh, which is maybe we can actually if we, oh, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. I was going to say we might actually be able to reach this, but let's just kill these Heartless first and then let's figure out what to do. Uh, again, you want to be you want to basically kill things as fast as possible But again because we have um, oh my god I did it again because we have our increased speed here from being in this. Oh so close Yeah, there we go. We got the daylight puzzle piece uh, because we have such increased speed from uh, being in our line uh, line form right now we can use our lap rapid bl rapid blow uh, to kill those aerial knockers, those are also a, a new type of heartless uh, aerial knockers. They can drop power gems and and uh, bright gems. So you wanna you wanna kill those at an eight percent chance and a four percent chance, respectively. Right there, we got a bright stone, which is pretty good. So you just kind of want to run around this area and collect all of the items and defeat all of the heartless that you can. Right there, we got a mithril stone, which is perfect for us. And you'll just see how quickly these things actually die. It's not that we're doing more damage; it's just that we're so fast. Right there, we got another daylight puzzle piece. And right here, we can grab a frost gem and then lay into these aerial knockers. Right there, we got a bright gem and a power gem. So that's uh, actually pretty lucky on that account. Uh, I believe, if I'm not entirely mistaken, that is all the items that we can find right here, right now. So let's actually... Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo, let's check up here real quick. I don't know. Hmm. I think we're good for the most part, and we can continue on to our next little area that we need to go to. Yeah, no more Heartless. We cleared it out already. That was so nice and quick. Let's go and head right on up here. The Savannah. Huh. It's actually just a big old circle. And you'll notice that we'll run into similar Heartless that we've already fought before. Uh, those Dino Bones, the Living Bones, are really the only ones that you need to worry about in this world. At least, at least I think so. Uh, those are the only ones that I've ever really had a problem with. Now, again, these guys will just kind of come at us, and we can just kill them no problem. Again, you do not have limit drives, or you do not have limits and you do not have drives, so this isn't a, technically a good place to level your your drives, obviously. Um, while you can get a ton of experience here in the Pride Lands later, when we get uh, our uh, upgrades to our magnet spells and stuff like that, look how huge this place is, man. You have to run from one side to the other, it takes so long. Uh, right here, we have another living bone. Now, these guys can, like I said, get you in a chain combo and literally just end your life uh, like that one was almost trying to do to us uh, right there. And, oh, that was so close. So now you can actually run around and uh, and potentially even kill these these shadows that spawned. That that clutch heal from Donald was amazing. That was so close uh, because there was nothing we could do. We were locked into into his attack. Uh, so there's no items or anything that you can get here in the Savannah area, uh, but we can just continue on. And you'll notice that there's another pathway that we can go here, but that's not where we're going. Uh, instead, we're actually just going to get out of here. Donald did level up, so his magic uh, went up, which is good for us. There's nothing you can actually hear, uh, get here, so we want to head all the way over to the beautiful, beautiful Pride Rock, which is way over there. You'll notice that obviously we can't go to over here because there's a giant chasm there, but we can go right up in right into here. Now those living bones do give a, a lot of experience if you fight them, so keep that in mind. That's 
That's him. Uh, what? What is it? I told Rafiki you might be able to help us force Scar and the Hyenas out of the Pride Lands. But he says it won't work. You see, whoever saves the Pride Lands will be our next king. And he has to have the right qualities. Meaning? Well, I think she means you're not cut out for the job, Sora. <sighs> I'm sorry you came all this way. Hey, no, it's okay. You better go before Scar finds out you're here. I'm really sorry. Why don't we go find Scar? And why don't we go teach him a lesson? It's easy to get lost in the vast savanna. Try looking for uh, markers. Things like bones in the elephant graveyard. Or the craggy mountain here. Hmm, maybe. So there is a cave in here. Uh, the Stone Hollow. Which does have a save point in it if you need to save. Uh, but that's about it. Right here we can see the painting of a lion. Looks like this is Rafiki's area. Let's go back out into Pride Rock because there's actually some items that we can grab here. Uh, including, if you notice, real quick, we can come up here. We can talk to Rafiki. The King's Den is in there where a long line of kings once reigned. Now only pretenders to the throne are there. Hmm. We can talk to... I believe this isn't, this isn't Nala. S Scar is cruel and brutal. You do well to keep your distance from him, indeed. Uh, so right here, if we actually run off, we can... We can't... Oh! Okay, if we would have jumped better, we would have been able to grab that. So let's get a Serenity Crystal from there. Let's talk to this lioness. There isn't any prey anywhere. What should we do is cross the Wildebeest Valley, but no, Scar would never let us leave here. Right here, we can get a Pride Rock, Pride Rock map. That's going to be useful. We can explore whatever we want there. Uh, and right underneath the crag itself is a good old Mithril Stone. Now, we need to we need to do this. So let's let's do this. Let's, uh, let's come up here. I actually don't know which one's Nala, and that's really embarrassing. Uh, we want to do this, and we want to jump. There we go, and we got the sunset puzzle piece. So it's a little bit of a drop, but you can do it. You can do it. I have faith in you. Oh, look at look at Goofy. Oh, man. I love how he's a turtle and everything. So we could head in here if we so choose. Mm, nope, we can't. Lied to you. All right, that's all we can do here. So why don't we go find out what's going on this way. Snack, snack, nah. Mm -mm. We got us a free cost meal. <laughs> Look at that! Here comes Scar, the king. <laughs> uh, and Pete. Scar, we can't hunt in a land with no prey. No prey? Then what do you call this? We're not prey. Oh, nice and fresh, too. Well, they're all yours, Scar. <laughs> oh! I'm sorry I got you involved in this. It's no big deal. Uh, it's not your fault. Sora wouldn't be a good king. <laughs> hey, I had to give it a try, right? That's true, you did. So you did want to be king. Well, you know. Uh, Nala, isn't there anybody else who could be king? There was, but he died when he was just a cub. He was the last... He was the son of our last king, Mufasa. If only Simba were here. Simba? 
But Simba's just fine. He was fighting right beside us not that long ago. We know Simba. You mean Simba's alive? But where is he? That I don't know. He wasn't alive when he was fighting alongside us, by the way. Still, Simba's alive. I can't, I can't believe it. Please tell me more about him. Of course. He has a very loud, loud roar. He was able to kill enemies for us. But first, we should get away from Scar. We'll go through Wildebeest Valley. He won't follow us there. All right, let's do it. Let's head to Wildebeest Valley and just ignore all of these Heartless and let's just get there as quickly as possible. As quickly, as quickly as we can. Let's go. Let's go. I love that Nala's here with us too. I love, look at the little bounce that Sora has. He like doesn't know how to run yet, so he just kind of bounces his back legs. What a dork. Why the long face, Simba? You gotta lighten up and live a little. Yeah, yeah. What were you thinking about? Let me guess. The past, right? Mm. Hakuna, Hakuna Matata. Matata! Would you look how he's grown, Pumba? Why, when I rescued the little guy, he was only this big. We're never gonna make it. I guess Rafiki was right. What? Never mind, it's not important. Here, I'll show you how. You can do it. Sora learned the dash ability. Now, if you, uh, if you press square, you will actually run really, really fast. You'll dash, basically. So let's kill these Heartless real quick, collect these items that we can, and then let's get out of here. So let's grab this, which is a energy stone. Now, I don't want to spend too long fighting these Heartless, just because, uh, again, we don't really need to right now. There will be better opportunities uh, to just destroy the experience uh, meter later so let's just grab all of these items that we can we got an ap boost right up here is a puzzle piece that we can grab a da daylight puzzle piece we're actually getting pretty darn close on completing those which is actually pretty darn cool uh i love how goofy has his his uh his shield on top of his shell because that makes the world of sense uh obviously you will be able to see that we have more chests right here we can grab this one which contains a mithril gem right over here we can grab another puzzle piece which is another daylight puzzle and we can grab this gym as well, and then hopefully maybe kill this uh, this this uh, aerial knocker. There we go. You're dead. Uh, look at this tree. Look familiar? It's where Simba was. It's where Simba was, man. This is the this is the valley that uh, that Mufasa died in. Makes me sad too. Let's continue into this way. Simba is a man. It's true. When Simba's father, King Mufasa, died, 
We were told that Simba died alongside him. Who told you that? Scar. It is time! It must be Simba! Sora, hurry! Uh, wait up! And we find ourselves here in the wasteland without a save point or anything with us, but this is a great time to end the episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we are going to head into the jungle, rescue Simba from the clutches of the evil Timon and Pumbaa, and defeat Scar. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like. It really does help the channel. And of course, showing up on screen right now is more videos for you to watch, including a link to Patreon, where just for a dollar a month, you can get early access to these videos. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, never give up, never surrender to Scar.